My nose, uh, I was trying to do my intro. I'm sorry, my nose started itching. But what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Emotional, and I'm back for another video. Let me move these out the way, please. And thank you. Oh, thank you. But anyway, we are back at it for another Chinchilla video. She just dropped this. This is Bounce Back Lyric Video. Chinchilla, please. You got me in my feelings with the last one. I do not have time to be in my feelings. Please don't get me in my feelings, Chinchilla. I don't have time. I don't have it in me. I'm just a man. I'm very sensitive right now. You could probably touch me with a feather and I'll start crying. Please do not get me. Because I know you're going to get me in some form or fashion at some point later on down the line. But please don't get me with this one. Please don't get me with this one. Please. I don't have it in me. But anyway, we about to go ahead and listen to this premium by Miss Chinchilla. Like, comment, subscribe. Now, baby, let's vibe. Thank God it's not about to have me in my feelings, Chinchilla. Thank God. I, I thank you so much because, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And you started off strong, too. Ah, my nose itches. God, I need to get checked. Okay. All right. Fire harmonies as always. Sick and tired of your double cross wires. Hold me back and fire. This whole industry's a liar. Say it loud. It's a harmony in the back. It gives me, am I supposed to get kind of like a opera-esque, but like a heaven angel type situation? It kind of reminds me of like the movies when you hear like the angels singing and like the light shining down, you know what I'm saying? From the gates of heaven, like, oh, like it reminds me of that. Am I supposed to get that vibe? Cause I get that because it's like, yeah. But also it's so crazy how crazy folks is like, what's the word? It's so crazy how folks is really going in on the industry right now. Because it seems like everybody getting their business put out. And it's like, dag, bro. Like, the whole industry's a liar. Like, it's a fact. Like, everybody's hearing about it. Everybody getting exposed. Everybody getting their business put out there. Like, hey, hey. Folks got a lot going on, it seems like. Let me bring it back. Early 20s and yeah. If you not inspired and motivated like I am, like I got chills on my arms, I ain't gonna lie, cause I needed to hear that, cause I feel like I've been in that that space a lot recently. Like I genuinely feel like I've been in that space a lot recently, like in a purgatory. But it's like, yo, like check out that mug, bro. Like check out that mug. Like say it again, Chinchilla. Say it again, sis. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Hold on, we gonna bring it back more. Wait, bring it back more. Bring it back more. And then the harmony adds to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Down with the rats. Find me down to the shape that you like. Tell me when, where, why. Let them in. Don't cry. Pick a genre. Fuck your genre. 
that's what that's why I wanted to stop at. She don't have a genre. She's like just with her voice and the subject matters and how she sang and like how she write and all this other stuff. And then her her uh production on top of that, she could do R and B, soul, hell. If she wanted to do country, she could do it, pop, all of that stuff. She's literally the way that she does things. You can say what you want. She's an enigma. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sis is an enigma. Sis cannot be put into one thing. Like I hope I use the right word. Anyway. But, like, Sis is not one of them ones where you can put her in a specific thing. Because, like, the way that her voice is and how she does things and how creative she is, even from, like, a fashion sense. Like, because, like, when y'all was telling me about the uh, the fly, on the, that's why she did the fit the way that she did. Like, a fly and all this, that, and the third. And when y'all was explaining to me what went into that, then I'm like, oh, Sis is deep. Sis is deep. Like, it's like you got depth on depth on depth with your stuff you get what i mean i'm like because like when i saw the fit i was like what i, I don't understand like what what is the inspiration behind this and then y'all explain it. And i'm like oh she got bars on top of bars her fit is a bar okay got you but doll like nah sis can't be in no genre she's sis is one of them ones she could do anything she could do any form she could do any form of music bro she could do anything i'm just gonna be 100 let me bring it back again. Say it again, sis, please. Thank you. What? Laugh at your genre. know if i hit the note right but don't judge me but doll like i love that note in the back that harmony she had in the back and then that guitar was sexy i didn't even go lie the guitar is sexy like this music thing like we 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 vibing with the and then we i'm I, sorry i got so many thoughts in my mind right now but like from like a overall thing you got another banger sis i ain't gonna lie this video gonna be expensive it's gonna be expensive sis it's gonna be expensive i'm sorry it's gonna be expensive because this is a banger of a song like this vid gonna cost you a good motion picture type budget i'm talking about transformers big you know what i'm saying so it is what it is so but dog like this song is hard bro and i love the uh the anaconda thing the word the rhyme scheme i'm like sis sis i need a rap song from you dog I need a rap song from you, sis. I need one. I'm sorry. The way that you write, and especially on this one, if she got a rapping verse in here, I'm going to be excited and I'm going to go stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, you cooking this mug, sis. You cooking this mug. I'm sorry. We're going to bring it back. No, she said don't say sorry, so I'm not sorry. Uh, We're going to bring it back. Hold on, hold on. What is that? That's the guitar again, ain't it? It's something in the back. It's like it's like a ew, or something like that. It's not a, it's not a harmony note. It's not a, her singing. It's a, it's an instrument. It sounds like a guitar. And are these live instruments? Cause like this song live, it's gonna be expensive. I'm just gonna be honest. It's gonna be expensive. 
it's gonna be expensive like it is hold on bring it back sorry no i'm not sorry she said don't say sorry i'm sorry it's a habit i said sorry again i'm gonna just play it Sis, we playing that again. I'm sorry. We playing it again. We playing it again. Sick and tired of your double cross wires. Hold me back and fire. This whole industry's a liar. Say it louder. You better rhyme, girl. Say it louder. This whole industry's a liar. Sis, you did it again. You did it a freaking again, sis. You did it again. I'm sorry, but again, this vid going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive, sis, because this song is like, bro, this is a big song. Like, this song is big. Like, this month, the message, the production, ooh, excuse me, like, everything about this mug is big i ain't gonna lie this is you you got another one sis you got another one this is hard i love the way that she was rhyming it gave me rap vibes 
Like, it really gave me rapper vibes. Like, if she come out with a rap song next, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, because I personally feel like she, she can do that. Because, like she said, like, forget your genre. Because, like, she don't fit into a genre. It's like she one of them artists that's an artist. Not I'm a rap artist or I'm a country artist or I'm a R&B artist or I'm a pop artist. She's an artist. She's one of them folks that don't fit into a genre. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how, like, um, matter of fact, I, I'll say it. Like, you know how, like, Beyonce don't fit into a specific genre? She done did R&B, country, pop, all of that. Chris Brown don't fit into a genre. So many artists that don't fit into a genre, she's in that category. She's in that category of the artists that don't fit into a genre. And if you put her in a genre, you're very small-minded. You're a very small-minded music listener if you put her in a specific category. Because it's, she's not one of them people when you at when you at the uh when you at the office and you at your little cubicle and you have like a filing cabinet and you have a specific tab that you can be like, okay, Chinchilla would go here, this person goes here, and this person goes here. No, Chinchilla's in all of them tabs. All of them tabs. It is what it is. But again, writing, all of that, this is fire, sis. This is fire. You did it again. You did it again. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, I got inspired. I got motivated. I got inspired. I, I needed a song like this. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, especially with what I've been going through just in my own personal life. Like, I needed a song like this. Like, bounce back. Like, come on. Like, burn up the purgatory. Like, come on. Like, break out of that mess, dog. Like, I needed a song like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I did. Thank you for writing this. Thank you for you, your team, making a song like this. I needed this. I needed this. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I'm thinking about her, y'all. Peace, easy, baby. Love y'all, and I can't wait for that video. I expect that mug to be like Transformer.